I currently reside here in Westlaco, you know, just trying to make a life, you know. Uh, just to go for the, for, first and foremost for the experience, you know, we just want to go out there and see, um, see what it is like, you know, and a lot of not, not a lot of people get out there and get to compete in a national tournament, you know, and uh, we would like to experience that, you know. I want to go out there and see, maybe I can bring it down here to the valley, you know, maybe we can expose more people to it, yeah. you know, maybe I don't know, my kid might want to join and we'll go out there, you know. Currently it's just uh, myself, uh, Gilbert Huerta, and uh, my brother-in-law, Jesse Rios, so we're going out there. Okay. Well, Gilbert and I trained together, we trained with uh, Luis Vega here in uh, Mid-Valley uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and uh, we don't have anything specific, we just, you know, we just try to, I don't know how I can put this, but uh, try to open our eyes to whatever we can do, you know. It's uh, mostly trying to pass the guard, basic stuff right now. Um, if we can, I think we, if we can get the basic stuff down and get the technique down, we can, you know, accomplish a lot of things, you know. That's what I've seen in a lot of tournaments, you know. And Luis has always been supportive of what we do out there, you know. He's always been there for us, uh, I'd say 90% of the time. I, mean, I know he's, there's more students he's got to support, you know, but he's been out there a lot of times, you know. And um, I'm real pleased with uh, his instruction, you know. He's taught us a lot of stuff, you know, that I don't think that uh, other schools have taught. Uh, today, we're starting a place to raise money so we can, you know, get out there. I mean, I got a family to support and I've got a job and I can only go so far, you know. And uh, I guess a little bit of effort from all of us, we can raise money and go out there, you know. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's hard to find sponsors, especially like us, you know, we're, we're brand new and we're not going to have a... Uh, uh, sprawl or somebody out there to come out here and sponsor us, especially, you know, it's the first time out there, they haven't seen us or whatever. Yeah. So we're not going to have a, a big time sponsor, so we're out here trying to do, uh, raise the money, you know, as far as best we can, you know, for what we know. You know we know how to cook, so let's put it to use. Because uh, we want to see how this one goes and maybe we can go to local sponsors and local businesses, see if they can sponsor us or do something for us or something. But uh, other than that, We'll see how it goes today and we'll go from there, you know. Uh, Gilbert Huerta, born and raised in Westlaco, Texas, and I train at Mid Valley Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Uh, today, uh, we're having a fundraiser to, uh, to support some of our uh, finances for Naga, uh, first tournament up there in uh, Fort Worth. So, uh, we're trying to get some funds together and, you know, get that rolling. Uh, Naga's going to be really interesting for me. Uh, first, Big, big tournament. Uh, I participated in local tournaments. Uh, did pretty decent, you know, pretty good, you know. Uh, but uh, I'm nervous, and hopefully we do pretty good. Or well, I do pretty good. This is the Naga's uh, nation uh, national tournament, so we're gonna have probably people from, I mean, all over the United States, you know, California, Florida, wherever, you know, everybody. So uh, it's gonna be a lot more competition, you know. So. It's going to be maybe tougher. Uh, we decided to do Naga because uh, just to prove ourselves or just kind of see where we're at in jiu-jitsu. Um, I know me and Sal have been training really hard the past six months uh, every day, but the weekends pretty much. A uh, couple of days off for injuries, but so we've been pushing ourselves pretty good. So I think, you know, we, just to see where we're at, you know, where our jiu-jitsu is at. Uh, I've asked Luis to help me a little bit more with my takedowns uh, from the standing and maybe from the guard. Um, pretty much Luis, you know, is behind us 100%. Um, he says, you know, just go out there and do as the best as you can and, you know, just you know, do your best. We have another fundraiser planned for the first week of December, first weekend of December. So uh, we'll be hopefully letting everybody know with you know, in the next week. Yeah, definitely the family. The family will be going up there with us. Uh, you know, just to back us up. It's always, you know, a little bit uh, less nerve-wracking when somebody, you know, close to you is there backing you up or, you know, at least showing support for you. Uh, as far as I know, I know it's just me and Sal for right now, but, I mean, uh, I'm pretty sure within the week or two, somebody else will cool, pop man. up. Pretty much. Just I mean, it's your training, if you, if, you know, you got to prove yourself or, you know, push yourself and see where you're at. Uh, we're not, first tournaments we go to and we went to, I mean, we weren't there to win. We weren't, you know, you know, I lost my first tournament and, but just, you know, go out there and try it. You know, it's, 
see what there is out there. Maybe you're way past whoever's there, you know, just prove, prove yourself, try it.